Hi guys, this is Chex from Chex Corner. Did you get a new HTC U11 this week? Well, I'm gonna show you how to squeeze your new U11 in this video. Your brand new HTC U11 phone has a neat feature called HTC Edge Sense. What it allows you to do is squeeze the edges of the phone. As you can see, I get the feedback on the edges of the screen as I squeeze my phone. Well, it's just telling me that's the area where I have to squeeze to do certain actions. Now, the default action is you press harder to launch an app or camera or flashlight. So when you set up your HTC U11, the default action configured for this gesture is opening the camera app. So if I squeeze harder, the default action, which is a camera, is now launched. And now once you're on the camera, you can basically do the same squeeze harder action to take a photo. And that's basically what the Edge Sense feature enables you to do, squeeze and launch an app. In this case, it is launching the camera. If you have gone through your U11 setup process and configured the Edge Sense, it would have set default to the camera app. Now, how do I change this or how do I even customize my squeeze action level? Well, to do that, you go to your settings and there you have the Edge Sense option. Now you can disable and enable this. And if you tap on the Edge Sense, you get more options. So there you can adjust your squeeze force level. So you can see my default level is set to the maximum squeeze and you can also set a new level. So for example, I can start squeezing and that's my new level. So that's the, that's the force that it, I could apply to launch the camera app which is set by default. And you can even increase that either manually or squeezing it to see how far you go. You can test that squeeze force by just now going to the screen and basically squeezing and that will give you balloons showing the effect of your squeeze action. So it's very neat to basically go and test yourself how much force do you want to apply. I like to have more force so that I don't accidentally open any app. So that's why I have kept to the maximum force. Now, the other thing also here is changing the default shortcut. So you have the camera app launching by default, so you can customize that squeeze action to launch Google Assistant or to even launch your favorite app, take a screenshot, turn flashlight on or off, and you can even uh, launch HTC Sense and turn Wi-Fi hotspot on or off. So there are very few options here, but the cool thing is you can launch any app you want. So you can choose from the installed apps and just launch that app. So good options there, but I feel like we will see more customization options coming up in the future with updates. Let's hope um, HTC will give us more options here. What we have configured so far is the basic action. You just have one squeeze force level and if you squeeze, you launch an app. You have an advanced mode where you can configure the short squeeze and squeeze and hold action. So you get two opportunities to basically configure your force and launch the app that you want. So for example, in the short squeeze, now I can say, well, I wanna launch the flashlight. I wanna turn on the flashlight. And basically now that will turn on the flashlight based on my short squeeze. If I wanna do the squeeze and hold action, I have the option to say, well, now I want to launch the Google Assistant or you know take a screenshot. So now that's set up. Now I can basically go to my, you know, anywhere in the screen. I do the short squeeze and there you go, flashlight is turned on. I do the short squeeze again, the flashlight is turned off. I squeeze and hold, it'll launch the Google Assistant. And that's the advanced mode where you can configure the simple short squeeze or squeeze and hold action with your AdSense feature. And just as you configured your squeeze force level for the basic action, you can also do that for the advanced mode and you just tap on this adjust your squeeze level. And now you can basically adjust the squeeze force how much you want. And here you can see the old squeeze force level is over here, but my new force level is indicated by the green icon. Now I can test my squeeze force. So basically now I can do the short squeeze. So now there is my short squeeze, so I can see balloons filling up. And now if I tap next, I can now basically test the squeeze and hold action. So there it is, there's the balloon. There's the balloon, so you can see them slowly filling up and then going away. So very nice way to actually 
test your squeeze force level for the AdSense feature. The cool thing about the AdSense feature is that it also works when your screen is off. So for example, here, if I do the short squeeze, you can see the flashlight is turned on. And if I do the short squeeze again, it turns off my flashlight. This also works with your squeeze and hold action. So if I squeeze and hold, you can see it's going to open up my camera app. And now I can just take a picture by doing the squeeze action. So that's how you can use the Essence feature even from the lock screen or your screen display when it's turned off. Now one thing I did find was this is not consistent with all of your apps, right? Because if you launch an app or if you launch Google Assistant, now that needs to unlock your phone to perform that action. So for example, if I squeeze and hold and I have Google Assistant set up, and now you see it's actually asking for me to scan my fingerprint or enter pin to unlock. Now, if I do that, it takes me directly to the Google Assistant, but it just feels like, you know, my Google Assistant could have come up just by squeeze and hold in the lock screen rather than uh, wanting me to unlock my phone to get in. That kind of defeats the purpose of this, you know, feature. So that's the Edge Sense feature in your HTC U11. Squeeze your phone to launch your favorite shortcut or an app. Now, is this useful? I found it very useful because I've been using it to do exactly this, turn on my flashlight and turn off my flashlight when needed, especially during the night. And I do the squeeze and hold action to take a screenshot or you know launch the Google Assistant. I've been just testing out which may be useful for me. This is yet another way to launch your favorite app or shortcut in your phone. So nothing wrong in having an extra way to do that. So if you want to use it, you know, you have it in your HTC U11, you can configure it, you can use it the way you want. So that's the AdSense feature in the U11. If you like my videos and if you want to see more like this, especially tips and tricks for U11, G6, S8, do subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading my videos regularly and you will be the first to know about the best tips and tricks you can get from these devices. And while you do subscribe, hit the bell button because that will keep you updated every time I publish a new video to my channel. And if you have any comments about the AdSense feature or about any other reviews that you want me to do, please share them in the comments below. Until next time, bye.